What's up, everybody? It's John. It's Memorial Day. I'm in the shop playing around because it's 100 freaking degrees almost outside at the end of May. And still playing with the new Anycubic Photon, printing a whole bunch of stuff with that. Tons of stuff to show you, cool stuff. Uh, some failures, some really good stuff. But what I really want to talk about today for the most part is a new resin that I found that's super cheap, works great, haven't had a failure with it yet. Come back, we'll do it. looking for some other things that were out there and namely looking for resin that was inexpensive or cheap or whatever but still delivered really good consistent results across all kinds of different prints and I tried a couple different things so that I could print stuff like this and anybody that has a photon out there recognizes the nice transparent green uh, resin that comes with the machine which works flawlessly every time as long as you got your supports right it's good it's done set it go it's going to print and it's going to turn out very very well for you some of the other parts on here that i had ordered previously to getting this machine i ordered some prints from shapeways that were done on i would assume would be an sls machine um, and the results were were very good were very good. Prints are good. They look very nice. The detail is very sharp. Uh, but I wanted to be able to do this myself. I ordered a handful of prints from them. It cost me almost 50 bucks to get them done. So I wanted to be able to do that at, in my shop for projects that I'm working on. So I got the Photon, started printing with the DLP printer, getting really good results, and then it came time to start playing with resins, and that's where things became a little bit hit or miss. So if you've got the Anycubic Photon, you, you know this stuff. It's the green stuff. It smells, but it works really, really well. What I wanted to do was find something that worked as well as this stuff does, but wasn't quite as expensive. Uh, these little bottles here don't go very far. This little bottle they give you with doesn't go very far. It doesn't print a whole lot of things. So I had to obviously buy more, more resin. So I looked around and I found a couple things and some people had used this one. Uh, this brand is 3D OK. I bought two bottles. They were 25 bucks a piece and by the time I got them shipped it was about $58 for a liter. Well that's where the goods stopped. I got this resin. I looked for the recommended settings for the printer. Dialed the printer in that way, printed a whole bunch of things that way, tweaked those settings, played with them, tried longer exposure times, uh, longer exposure on the base, different layer heights. I could not get consistent results out of this, with the exception of very small, solid pieces. Now, these are some of the best results I got out of that 3D OK material, and you know, you see the big void in there? That's not supposed to be there. If we look at the end of this, the walls are very thin and, and kind of irregular. This is supposed to be round. It is oblong rather than round. It's almost oval shaped at the end. And places where the supports were created really large raised areas so these are some of the best prints that I got out of that material for the same part. I tried to print the same part no less than seven or eight times with different settings. And this were, these were the best results that I got. And they're not there. They're still missing parts. To use these, I would have to fix the holes on here and sand and do all of that, which is the whole idea of getting this damn printer in the first place was to not have to do this stuff. So... If we need, it's the Einstein bust. Looks really nice. Seven times I tried to print this. Now, and they just keep coming. This stuff just did not work for me. 
long and short of that is that I went through almost an entire liter of material and got a handful of usable prints and a lot of things that filled up my garbage can really, really well. So, I'm hoping that was just a bad batch of the material. Several of us uh, who have used this have reached out to the manufacturer to see if there's anything that can be done, if there was a bad batch, there was some bad material, whatever it was. You know, I'm willing to forgive and forget that if that was the case. But if that's how the stuff normally works, it's no good. So, cheap option number one was out. Your average bottle of resin that people really like for the Photon or for the Wanhao D7 or the Spark Maker or any of those types of DLP printers which are essentially very much the same. Um, things like Monocure, um, the Fun to Do Industrial Blend, that, that type of stuff, you're looking by the time you get it to you is anywhere from 89 to just over $100 for a liter. Which is fine if the material works great, I get it. If it works, it's quality, wonderful. But for me, in making stuff in quantity and using this all the time for things that I'm, that I'm selling, I need something that works really well, that allows me to print fast, that the quality is good, and the cost is as minimal as I can get it. What I picked up and what I found was Nova 3D liquid photopolymer resin. So I found this on Amazon. The cost for a liter bottle of it, they have it in white, black, clear, and a gray. For one liter was $56. It's $56 shipped to me because I'm a Prime member. So $56 bucks for an entire liter. Now the reason that I ended up pulling the trigger on this stuff and ordering it without having feedback from anybody was I did some research into Nova 3D and looked and found a couple of their DLP printers that they have out in the marketplace. They have one by the same name as the Anycubic machine, a Photon machine, which is a much more expensive DLP printer um, and goes for a couple thousand dollars, I want to say, about two, two, two and a half thousand dollars. It's almost up to the Form Labs uh, height of price. Um, but they also had a smaller machine that spec-wise and look-wise and everything was very similar to the Anycubic Photon. So being as this is a company branded resin from Nova 3D that they're giving with their machines that are essentially the same, I figured how the hell could it not work? They're not going to put their name on there and put it with machines that they're trying to sell for $700 to $2,000 if it's crap. So took a chance, I ordered a bottle, I got it, and I gotta say, I, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I have yet to, with this, using the suggested settings uh, for this resin, which works between, what was the range on there, 395 nanometers and 420 nanometers. So, Photon is right at 405 and right in the wheelhouse of the material. So I use the settings that are listed right on the package, which say bottom layer 60 second exposure and each layer 8 second exposure. So it's quick. It's quick like the Anycubic resin. Um, this stuff that I didn't have good luck with, I was exposing at 12 to 14 seconds and still not getting consistent results. So this prints twice as fast as that does. It prints just as fast as the Anycubic stuff does. And the results I just are fantastic. I have yet, to this point, have had or experienced a failure with either the clear resin, which is this here, or with the black, which I purchased as well, which I'll show you a couple of prints from that also. So it's been really, really, really good. I'm very, very impressed. So using the settings that are right on there, good to go. So Eiffel Tower, I couldn't do that with the other resin that I had previously. Everybody knows what this is, and many of you have seen this in person before. This is Cinderella's Castle from Disney World in Orlando, Florida. This thing is small. You can see the detail on this. Like you can see the panes 
of glass in the stained glass windows on this when you look at it. It's probably not going to show up that well on camera, but you can see that. You can see tiles on the roof. It's, it's nuts. It really is. And this kind of stuff comes out of this resin each and every time. Oh, Einstein, that was a giant, complete, nutter pain in the ass to print with anything else that I've tried so far, came out perfectly. The first time, I used the same file, the same supports on this, the Eiffel Tower, and a couple other things that I printed with the, uh, with the Nova 3D resin as I had on the other stuff that I did before, too. It printed fine with this resin. It failed every time with the other stuff. So I'm extremely, extremely happy with that. And my flash hider for a DL44 that I printed seven or eight times. This was the first print with the Nova 3D resin using the same support structure and the same file that I had for. It came out perfectly. The first time, like it should. So the black has been very, very good. The clear has been very good. I haven't picked anything else up quite yet as far as other colors, but for all the little stuff that I'm doing. So the Nova 3D resin, you can get it on Amazon. That's where I got mine. I'll have links down below where you can pick that up. It's really good. I have yet to have an issue with it. My print's complete. It makes things easy. If you're picking up a DLP printer, you're picking up an Anycubic Photon, a OneHow D7, something similar to those machines, and you need a resin that is reliable and inexpensive, the Nova 3D, and any one of the colors that are available that I've tried yet so far, clear, black, no issues, no problems. 8 second layer exposures on the, uh, the Anycubic Photon, quick prints, precise prints, what more could he ask for? One more piece of business before I go, and I neglected to do it in the last video. Uh, a little while ago I put up a video about, printed this C3PO head and showed it off in a video and actually made this into a contest for reaching 500 subscribers. I said when I reach 500, I'm going to do a giveaway. I went back to the video, I cut it off at the point when I actually reached 500 subscribers, which was a few weeks ago. Uh, now a little, like 560 or something like that now, so I waited a little bit of time. But thank you to everybody that has subscribed and everybody who participated in the contest. You're all awesome. So, I'm going to give this away. Went to the comments on the video, that's how you entered. You subscribe to the channel, you commented on the video, and one of you is going to get it. So, I went through those comments that happened prior to the 500 subscriber level and found the name of Robert Strasser. So, Robert Strasser, I hope I got your first name right. I hope I pronounced the second name right. But I will put your name up in the link as down below in the description of this video as the winner of the C3PO head. Thanks to everybody who checked out this video and those who have checked out the ones prior to it. And all of you who have subscribed so far, if you've not done so yet, go ahead and click the button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe so that you can see more things like this and let me know what you think about this. If you've had experience with the Nova 3D, if you have any questions about their resin, uh, the links below to where to purchase that will be available as well. And those links do benefit the channel and allow me to continue to do interesting things and purchase new stuff and talk about it and make cool new things. So thanks to all of you that do that. Thanks for watching. It's John. It's Memorial Day. It's still hot as hell outside, and I'm going to go enjoy a little bit of time outside and maybe work on these a little bit. Check them out. These abs. Oh, there's no abs there. It's just a t-shirt. It's ABS filament. It's a goddamn fantastic shirt. Anyway, it's John.
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. And see you next time.